Oh, friggin' rights boys, welcome back to another episode of TAC for friggin' my sack. Friggin', um, what'd I do today? Not a whole fuck of a lot, I guess. It piss poured rain and fucked around. Fucking Josh was went to the hospital today. Fucking thought he heard all his gizzard and his fucking liver and shit, but turns out he just was fucking kind of hungry and he had to fucking take a big dump. Eh? So fucking. I'm just fucking with you, but that's what I was teasing him about all day, fucking, oh, you just had to poop. He just had a poo baby in there, but, you know, and then he would laugh, and it would hurt, and fucking, uh, you know, and he, it was funny, I don't know. Play my part. <clears throat> it's funny to me anyways. Oh, shit, I busted up this nugget, I was going to show you, fuck sakes, but anyways, I picked up a couple grams of this Burmese Kush. This Burmese Kush, let's check this out. But he didn't have very much, he only had like a couple grams, so... Just picked it up. It's nice small little nuggets. Nice little small little nuggets. I don't know if we're going to be able to focus in on that or not. Pay my part. That one's got a big chunk missing out of it. But they're a nice little rock card. I like it when it's just dry as fuck, you know what I mean? When it's just dry as fuck. Can you saunt the dusty fellas on wood? Can you saunt them? Friggin' right. It's like Burmese, uh, Burmese cushions or something fucking thing or whatever, but, but uh, that's not what we're going to smoke today. What we're going to smoke today is more of those fucking OGs that uh, I picked up a couple half quarters. I hate these friggin' little jars. Hey? You can only fit like a couple grams. Hey? You got to like stuff a half a quarter in there. Freak sacks. But... Uh, all the stench coming out of this pickle jar, boys. Goodness. So I got maybe like 10 grams there. Not too bad, not too bad. But we'll pack a friggin' bowl here and then we'll get on to some dicks. Friggin' uh... Had a friggin' late night last night, cause fucking... Well, I just had, you know, some shit to do and it took forever and fucking... I had to have naps in between and shit for fuck's sake, so I didn't really get a night's sleep last night. I got like fucking naps, a bunch of fucking little naps for fuck's sakes. Well, I guess I better tell you, because so you don't think I was making meth or something. It was fucking, uh, I just had to do some filming, quick, quick last minute fucking things for, you know, some, the shit that's going on there with fucking, you know, Nitro Circus guys and Jackass guys or whatever and it's just fucking I'm just beside my cigarette over it but you know they're pretty excited about it but they're, you know they're not promising fucking you know we're gonna fucking go and make a fucking movie in Hollywood or anything we're just fucking you know they're excited about fucking trying to fucking make something work and I'm fucking just totally beside my fucking cigarette that these guys are even fucking cracking to me like really, like fucking holy shit, like I got the phone number, you know, that's fucking just crazy. A lot of time. But uh, in other words, fucking yeah, OGs, fucking big, big fan, gonna fly cock into the program. It's getting a little bit chilly at night and stuff, flies wanna come inside where it's warm, I guess, I don't know, but fuck, this time of year is just dicked. Let me cheat you. Definitely got to start getting into the habit of uh, cleaning my bongs because just sort of getting it, but getting into the bong deal, right? So fucking, it's like holy fuck, you know? It's like <coughs> I'm an idiot, beg my part, but fuck yeah, <coughs> that weed's like doing a dab for fuck's sakes. <coughs> <coughs> just get your fucking stone. Holy shit. My goodness. Fuck, I remembered everything today. Torch, fucking dabs, weeds, bong, fucking stove pipe, drink. Oh, fuck yeah. But, um, looks like we got four dicks and a spam and goof. Uh, whoa, what the fuck? I was going to say DJR, but it's fucking... J-R-M, holy fuck that, I think I have cerebral palsy for fuck's sakes. 
Holy fuck, that's good weed, man. Fucking flies. But um, we got JRM6228. After, after watching the world record jump, I think it's time for a new project at your zone. I think you should build a two-seat redneck lawn chair cart. Imagine seeing a two-person jump go down. It would break the standards on appliance jumps. Holy shit. Make like a redneck side by each. Like a redneck side by each. You know what I mean? I don't fuck man, there's no way I could be a passenger in that. That was fucking crazy. That's one thing about fucking Rickham. Fucking he was like a passenger in like 90% of those fucking jumps that I did and fucking that is way fucking crazier than driving and doing the jump. Fuck. I was the one who had fucking control. Fuck, I could have killed both of us for fuck's sakes, but anyways, fucking um Yeah. JRM 6228. And then we have uh Brian Burrs, B R Z. Brian B R Z or something. I don't know. Beg my part. But he says, hey Pug, just wanted to say howdy from dirty old shit Thomas. Fuck, I hate that place. Uh, beg my part. Uh, I want. I also wanted to tell you, all your fans that you're for real. I remember grade one and two with you, and and you were just dicked back then, in a good way. Beg my part. I remember we used we used to try to swear every other word. Drove our teachers crazy. Brian. Oh, Brian. Oh yeah. Right on. Love your show, dude. Keep it up. Brian Bod. You're probably... Well, I know one other guy that I've known longer, but uh, there was uh, this fucking Greg guy from back in the locks, lock school area there back then, and fucking uh, he was missing all his fucking antlers on one hand. He was like my bestest friend in the whole world back then. Last time I seen him, he was like, well, he delivered pizza to us a couple times there fuck's sakes, but uh, I don't know if he recognized me or not, we never fucked with him, because, you know what I mean, it's like, I think that was before, yeah, that was at my parents' house when he used to deliver pizzas, we used to fuck with pizza guy all the time, not really fuck with him, I mean, you know, scare him, make him think we were fucking gonna maybe kidnap him a little bit and stab him a couple times, that's it, but it was just for a joke, for movies, you know what I mean, we weren't really kidnapping pizza guys and stabbing them and stuff, clearly, but fucking, um, yeah, that's fucking awesome, dude. Oh, and then another one. It says, we were the original swearing kids. Fucking right we were. That's awesome. Remembers when we used to try to swear every other word. Fuck, man. I remember this one time. Okay, this is a story for you. How about Doug, like, try to give you an idea how my appliance works and what is funny to me. I made this list, okay? And it was on just on a regular piece of paper, but it was, like, front and back and just like maybe four or five columns of words and it was front and back and I thought okay you know I gotta get this page, these pages filled up with hilarious words and then I'm gonna proclaim these words to the world right and it's gonna be awesome and it was like it was words that I could call people and you know I was a kid you gotta keep in mind I was a kid and fucking you know this and that and a lot of it you know there was I mean every possible racial type of a bad word that you could ever possibly call somebody it was it was my list of things to call people it, you know what I mean and to me it was hilarious but you know I understand that you know the racial part you know it's not like I you know look at I got a black guy tattooed on my leg I'm not freaking racial at all but friggin I you know I don't know my demented clients thought it was hilarious but there was all totally you know fucker and you know, dinked and dickered and all the and all this shit was on this list. And I'm talking, we I was a fucking kid. You know what I mean? And I, I have my list and I'm all proud. Like I wasn't, you know, I was probably seven or something. So I don't know, I was probably this big. But anyways, fucking. And I, I remember I, I come. No, I must have been older than that because we were at the fucking house in Walsons because I fucking moved away from there and halfwards through grade three. So I was like nine or something eight or nine when I fucking moved into on to, on to Wilson's and uh, yeah friggin my sack now I'm all frazzled 
Well, I better get a rip into myself here. See if I can't friggin' unfrazzle my thoughts here. Shit, that sucks. I was on a roll. Must have been 10 so I'm 10 years old just a fucking racist little prick I guess apparently for fuck's sakes because now that I'm thinking about it this was a horrible fucking list and no wonder no wonder my dad flipped out so in other words I fucking walk out to the hall and I got my list and my dad walks by and I says dad you have got to fucking hear this and I just start rattling all I'm like and I just start you know reading off this list one after another after another after another and you know, like I'm looking at the list and I'm reading the list and like, but I should have been looking at him because like, holy fuck man, you know what I mean, he was getting pretty fucking choked and, and rather than just clubbing me to death like a baby seal, he just like fucking shook his head and walked away. Just couldn't fucking believe his mind. I just, I was just like, oh my fucking goodness, what just happened here? You know what I mean? So, but I beg my part though, I do really. Because it was fucking terrible. I should have never have done that. Very terrible thing to do. But I was a kid. Kids do horrible, terrible things. To the fucking swearing kids are telling the fucking, fucking cigarette butt lady that if she does a jump, I hope she dies and stuff. Fuck's sakes, they shot her in the eye with a fucking, with a pellet gun. She's just fucking baby, well, I'm your babysitter and stuff. Be good little children. And they're fucking shooting her in the head with pellet guns and stuff. Fucking shooting her eye out, for fuck's sakes. But, you know. Away she goes, I guess. Fucking way she goes in Inwood. With people under the power lines here, right? We are one of them. Eh? We are one of them now. Beg my part. But, uh, friggin', uh, friggin' Rice Brian, bud. You should fuck him out. Fuck, man. Shit, Thomas is only an hour away. It's not even too far. Beg my part. But, uh, yeah, I think moving, f moving from, from that lock, lock school area to fucking, you know, what would on the surface appear to be, you know, because like we lived in like townhouses and shit and fucking, you know, and this and that, and then we, we moved to a house in a fucking nice neighborhood with a house, but that was the fucking worst thing that could ever happen to me. The people over there were bad as, I mean, way worse than the fucking, you know, I mean, we were bad as fuck, but we were kind of in the corner of St. Thomas. We had the gully and everything around, so we could fuck around and cause all kind of shit. Come back up through the gully, back to our house, and the cops, you know, whatever, right? But fuck out on Wilson Ave there, you're fucking dinked. Fucking just cops everywhere surrounded the program was fucked. But uh yeah in woods fuck there's barely any cops. Only only sometimes you should come out and fucking cheat. Hey come out Saturday. Saturday. People are coming out probably. Well it's supposed to fucking kinda of rain it says a little bit, but we're gonna try to still do it. Kinda of between like like noon and four ish kind of sort of time on Saturday. Bit my part. But uh, and we're thinking about having a fucking Bontoberfest on uh, the 4th and 5th of October, too, in accordance to it's my birthday. It's my birthday on the 2nd. I'll be like 30-something. Fucking, we were at court and, you know, these guys asked me, oh, you know, this and that and your date of birth and how old are you? And how old am I? I don't know, 30-something. It's like, well, fuck, how old am I? 35 or 6? I don't know, 36 or 37. I don't know. And Josh was just fucking lost it. He couldn't believe that I fucking... You know, couldn't just off the top of my head, oh, I'm this many years old. And it's like, well, fuck, man, I'm not fucking 10. It's not like I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm going to get fucking veggie games for my birthday. You know what I mean? Like, I don't give a fuck how old I am. I feel like I'm fucking 15 for fuck's sakes. So, you know, age to me is just a fucking a number, I guess. But, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm like 30. 
So I'm gonna be 37, I think. So that's fucking totally fucking bullshit. 37? Fucking what? Holy fuck. Seems like yesterday's I was fucking 27 for fuck's sakes. This is fucking bull's dick. Holy fuck. 30 fucking 7. What a, what a man's dick. I don't know if I read this one or not. I'm stressing out. Worms in him's vittles. It would have been more Usner if it was worms in him's bum. <laughs> I hate fucking worms in the bum. That's terrible. Hey, Pug. I uh, love everything about your show. Big, big fan. Sometimes it uh, can get a little scary when Buddy Van Doodle it, looks like a drunk male prostitute. Or if he's... Or if you're getting ready to punch the fire dicks out or some nonsense or gibberish. But mostly I get good positive vibes. Fucking flies on my shit. Uh, from you and your whole crew at Inwoods. So just wanted to say big, big thanks to you all. Choo choo. P.S. Be careful with those garage shop donairs. Um, if they're anything like the ones we eat here in England. They will contain far worse things than Bugus found in his quid nose cock meek sandwich bag my part. So it's like worms, worms in your donor? Oh, it suck. Fuck's sakes, my legs are fucking just covered in skitter bites. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I don't like that kind too much. But so that'll conclude the uh, dicks, the dicks for uh, today. But no, 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 sir. Uh, the donors here up the road in uh, Petrolia at the gas station are totally malicious, big time, and yeah, she just, you know, it's not like fucking, there's like a lady, and she makes them, and they're licious, and I love that kind, and like, I am a fucking complete asshole if fucking, you know, we go out to eat. Like, just the other day with the old Chinese food, fucking thing, it's like, we fucking go there, it's all you can eat, but, you know, everything's empty, all the things are, there's only a couple little kernels in each fucking one, for fuck's sakes, a nugget of this, a kernel of that, a fucking, you know, a couple sticks, you know, it's like, well, fuck, I don't want the, the fucking skimpy pittance from the bottom of the Fafagna sack here, I want, you know what I mean, holy fuck, dude, charge me 17 bucks, for fuck's sakes, you know, and we just fucking today spent 40 bucks on, uh, on, uh, on, um, fuck, what are they called? Panzerati's, for fuck's sakes. Manzerati's, or whatever the fuck. I mean, they were good as fuck. So, they were good as fuck, but they were expensive as fuck. So it's like, you know, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying we spent 40 bucks on fucking, really small fucking, you know, they were only like this big, so, it would have, if they were twice as big, would have been Osner, could have had half, and then half later, more Osner, but no, I had to suck back the whole fucking thing, and have a bowl of cereal, for fuck's sakes, but I love cereal, so it's not too bad, I love the stuffed fucking mini fuckers, you know what I mean, they're just like a mini fucking week with a fucking stuff into them, the red stuff into them, fuck, they're good, Way better than just the originals with just the fucking dusty fellas onto them. Oh, dick in my ass! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, dick. Oh, fucking shit in my socks. <coughs> that was a fucking good one. Oh, holy shit. <coughs> Flies around her dick. So yeah, man, we're doing fucking bong tokes to those fucking wicked OGs, fucking grown and cured to fucking perfections, and it just fucking reeks like fucking, like almost like a burning tire, like it's just fucking dank fucking smelling shit, you know, like it's not, obviously it doesn't smell like a fucking burning tire, but it's got like a fuel or fucking, that's what it is, it's like a fucking, 
you know, like sort of the same sort of wafting smell of like a gas station. You're just getting like a hint of gas smell and stuff. It's got that into it for sure. Fucking awesome. But, uh, <coughs> big, big fan of that. We got the fucking, the train wreck fucking, uh, hashes there. Fucking quality fucking products from the laboratory there. Fuck, beg my part for that. And, uh, then we cheached. But, um, I don't know if there's anything else. Don't forget to check out NectricNationSmartHost.com. I haven't mentioned that in a while for fuck's sakes. I don't know why. Just fucking, you know, I'm fucking big, really digging the bongs on the show now. It's like fucking, you know, I totally smoke my fucking, my fucking Vapor Max and my fucking Butterballs all the time. But fucking, it's more like, you know, on the go type situation. So you don't have to have a fuck pocket full of joints and shit. You just have a fuck Butterball. <laughs> fucking a couple rips off that, you're good. Pay my part. But, uh, and you know, like shit like that, the fucking, you know, hundreds of bucks. You got to fuck, oh, you need the titanium fucking thing. It's fucking 80 bucks in the fucking thing. And plus the guy, 40 bucks and 100 bucks. And it's like, holy fuck, man. 15 bucks, but about <laughs> cheech. You know what I mean? It's fucking way more awesome. Plus, with the new stealth stick, you can just put it on your dart and it looks like a fucking e cigarette. So you're standing there talking to the cops, <laughs> smoking ash. Totally not even medicinal. It's fucking. Not even this little recreational big time. Oh, hey cops, I'm just on my e-cigarette. And stuff, you know what I mean? That's fucking, because it's fucking more awesome as free. But anyway, it's fucking, I apologize that I rambled there for a little bit at the end, but, uh, curtsy. Curtsy. So anyways, boys, there you go. Another medicinal episode. So until tomorrow, keep her medicated.